today, we're going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your gyro brake system on your BMX. I have here a brand new Haro Downtown DLX that we will be adjusting the gyro brake system on. And we'll begin from top to bottom. Remember, this video is how to set it up, not install them. So I assume you have the parts ready, like your brake lever, your upper cable stop, your detangler, lower cable stop. However, we will be installing and adjusting the lower and upper cables shown here. All the tools you'll need are two 10 millimeter wrenches and plier cutters, and maybe a 13 millimeter wrench with a five millimeter Allen key. We'll begin with the top. Here we have the upper cable. We have a short end and a long end. Put the long end furthest away from the brake lever. Then insert them into the threads on the top half. Don't worry about how far. Then make sure that the upper cable goes through the middle of the handlebar and insert it into the brake lever. Next, grab your lower cable and insert it through the threads again on the bottom half. Then insert it into the detangler. Remember there's two sides to this thing, bottom and the top. Then continue on and fit it through the frame. Next, you'll need the two 10 millimeter wrenches and your cable hanger. Insert the cable hanger about a centimeter away from the seat tube. Then grab your crossover cable and insert it through the brake. Squeeze the brakes together and pull on that cable. Hold it in place, then use your 10 millimeter and tighten it up. Obviously, make sure that the brake pads are lined up properly with the rim. Then go to the front and squeeze the heck out of that brake lever. Next, pull with your right hand and pull the brake lever. You can see there's a little bit of play. This is where you adjust your barrel adjusters. First, you can do the brake lever, and then you can do the other end. Be careful not to go too far, or else the barrel adjuster can come right out. Try it one more time. There's a little bit, so just adjust a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and tight. Try it again. Now with the pull with the brakes, this is perfect. Next, as we rotate the headset, you can see there's a little bit of play. From here, all we have to do is adjust the barrel adjusters. As you can see here, we're trying to level off the detangler. Still a little bit of play. But first, let's make sure it's plush on the bottom. Try again. Still a little bit of play. We'll just lower the right side here to make it a little bit more level. Seems to be good. Check the other end. Full rotation. Perfect. Now grab your 10 millimeter wrench and lock them off.
Don't forget to lock off the top cable as well. We're almost done. So depending on how far you like your brake lever to be, this is where you'll have to make your adjustments on your rear brake. Use the 10 millimeter to adjust. Now to cut off the cable. Pull the cable across the cable hanger and cut just a little bit off. And trip it off with the end cap. Now just play with it a little bit and line it up with the crossover cable. Now we'll continue on with the last part of the cable and crimp it off. Make sure the tension is even on both sides. If it isn't, this is where the 5mm Allen key and the 13mm wrench will come into play. Use the Allen key to loosen it off and use the 13 millimeter to adjust and tighten it off. And that's it, we're done. We would like to thank you for watching our video and we hope that this was very easy for you to follow along. If you have any questions or any other videos that you would like us to do, please let us know in the comments. Um, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to visit us at our website, sportshack.ca. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you later.